Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. HP Omen 17-inch upgrade. Uh, so we're going to be doing RAM, and I've already done the, the drive, but I wanted to show you about how to get this thing apart first. There's four screws here, very short ones, okay? And we have four of them here as well. Now, I would organize these by top and bottom in the order you took them out, um, just in case, because I... From the looks of things, they all look exactly the same, but one could be two threads difference, and it's got to go in the right hole. So, better to be safe than sorry. Anyways, once you get the screws out, all you're going to need is like a guitar pick or, or one of these guys. And you're going to want to start at the back of the machine first, and just run this, and it'll pop really super easy. And then you can go around the sides, okay? And then the rest of the cover will just pop right off, and then voila! Okay, it is literally that simple to open this. I think this is the easiest HP I've ever opened yet. Um, I've had a few of them myself. So now the boot drive is going to be on the left side of the computer, which means when the computer is on its proper backside, this is going to be the left. This is where you're going to find your boot drive. And these already come with heat sinks with pads as well. And uh, we have not done anything with this side yet. And these are supposed to be both apparently express four slots but regardless um i'm just going to show you what this thing will look like and this pad has not been activated obviously so the sticker is still there you got to make sure you remove that sticker off of the blue so that it goes on your drive properly and um this i think just sits like this and just does nothing from the looks of things um yeah that's just a protector actually that's all that is. So that's just a protection thing. But um, put your drive in there. Now in this case, this is the original 512. We could opt to put this one in here, but I want to leave this drive intact. I also downloaded a bunch more games on this thing the last couple days, waiting for my RAM to show up, which, well, it still hasn't. Um, it'll get here today, but it will be on video because we're going to stop this video um, once we get through the rest of this part here, okay? So, anyhow, it's that simple and easy to get the cover apart and get up these drives, all right? Um, now, what I put in here was a 1 terabyte Kingston KC3000 Express 4 drive, which is rated for 7,000 megabytes per second read-write. We will do a test. Um, I don't know if we'll get it done in this video or another one. We'll see what the time's like. This one already runs out at over 6,800 um read i think it was it was on the left side anyways and the other side was 44 something but that's pretty fast for a 512 i i'm freaking impressed with that but that's that's the factory drive that came with this okay now the other thing we're going to be doing is a ram upgrade and that means ddr5 and so to do that we just pop the little tabs here now you do not have to disconnect the battery to do this um, don't be a paranoid freak like some people are. You're not going to hurt anything as long as you've ensured that the laptop was powered down first before you even crack the cover. That's the important part, okay? Because, yeah, if you screwed that up, then, yes, you're going to short something out. Now, I'm going to take the RAM out of here for now. This is single-sided RAM. These are 16, uh, well, actually, they're 8 gigers, um, and this is... Uh, 5600 megahertz stuff which is what i ordered but i ordered uh two 16s to give me 32 these are the two eights i'm also leaving these intact for now now the only warranty i have left here because this was a computer that was exchanged through mdg for a warranty return um i have my balance of my extended warranty from them left over so i'm still good until october uh so i'm going to just call it end of october as a safety um, and so I'm not going to be doing anything with these three items at all until such time as that warranty is completely expired. And, uh, I got to call HP back too, because the warranty on this with the regular one year for a new one was somehow already activated and gave me the same ending time as my extended. So we're not sure what the heck happened there because HP warranties are separate from MDG. So anyways, um, I got to call them back. Uh, probably tomorrow. <coughs> so, 
not a lot to this thing. I mean, you get your CPU on one side, GPU on the other, or two fans, usual. Um, this battery here, if I remember, is like 83 or, yeah, 83 watt hour, 11.58 uh, volt. So it's not going to give us a boat can load of runtime playing video games, but we should get several hours just using the efficiency cores, doing low powered apps. So no video editing, <laughs> probably no video uh, audio production. Definitely going to be able to watch YouTube content, surf the internet, that sort of stuff. That's going to use e-core uh, type of thing. And the bat the thing would go into low power mode if I let it, except I've already got it jacked so it doesn't. So, yeah, it's going to be full power all the way, baby. So, anyhow. All right, we're going to stop the video here. So we wait for our RAM upgrade, and uh, then we'll continue on. Now, before that, um, I used Macroom Reflect 10 which you can download for free, and you do get a trial for, I think it's 30 days, um, to clone the drive. So you clone it to an external SSD drive, um, and voila, and if you did everything correctly, um, you should see your empty space still empty, the way it should be, uh, after you've copied the OS and whatever programs were on there. And all my stuff went across, so... Uh, we're all good to go. No warning messages, no errors, and I've already booted the thing up, so I know it's working good. Um, so our next stage is upgrade the RAM, and then see how long it takes this thing to calibrate the new RAM upgrade that's in it, because I know the BIOS is going to have to switch itself over to the new RAM. So anyways, we'll stop the video here, but it will be instant for you guys, and then we'll come back as soon as our RAM shows up. Okay, guys. RAM just showed up. It's 5.30. Holy cow. Talk about a long day waiting for this stuff. So I ordered Crucial RAM, and well, this stuff cost me $130 with tax, but yeah, it's worth it for a 32 gig upgrade. So, which way is the magic things going here? That way. And this one should go this way. Kind of weird they're opposite, but what the hell. All right. Back cover. All right, let's flip her over before we put the screws in, make sure everything goes good. And we'll just wrangle this a little wee bit. And power on we go. It should just automatically set itself up like magic. Well, at least Asus's do, but. We'll see. Come on, post the screen. Let's go, baby. Any day now would be great. Wow, this thing's taking a bit to calibrate. Hello, anybody live in there? No alarm beeps, so that's always a good thing. Yeah, fans are running. Wow, how long does it take an HP to do this? This could be a while. Oh, there we go! Holy jeez. That took a bit. Hey, at least you know what you're in for, right? Give her some credit where credit's due. Da, da, da. Windows sign in. Okay, so <clears throat> you're not allowed to see my password. So anyway, um, let me just do this. Okay, now you can see. All right, let's go check out the system profiler. Make sure it sees it all. And 
then we've got 32 gigabiggies. 32 gigabytes worth of RAM. Sweet. All right. So. Automatically set itself up. And, of course, we also have our terabyte of storage, which we upgraded to. And we still have 952 gigabiggies free. I don't have very much installed right now, just kind of like Core and Epic Games, which that's part of Core. So I think I have my other game installed here too somewhere. Anyway, so I got to install a pile of games. All right, so system shut the down. So at this point, we know everything's running good, so we can just... Go and put all of our screws back in, and we are gazunzoed. And set her back up and see how much better it plays games. So, we will do a separate video on that. Now, um, I was playing Decimated with 16 gigs of RAM in this. And it's a really freaking raunchy game. Okay? Um, so, we'll have a video specific to that. And this thing with 16 gigs of RAM, 16 core chip, and of course 8 gigs of 4060 NVIDIA graphics was giving me about 60 frames per second at high and about 47 at their ultra settings so 47 was still playable though but uh we're definitely going to do a retest now that we got some real ram because we're still on the recommended side i think we're okay now i'll have to redouble check decimated specs but we're definitely going to be fully good to go right no problems with lots of ram left over for Game of Thrones as well as any of the core apps either way. Um, so any of the games within core, perfectly fine. Anyhow, so that's our upgrade for that stuff. Now, you know, we, we've clipped this back together, but if you're going to take this thing apart, you have an easy access point here at the back where you can start popping this, okay? And um, that is how this comes apart, actually. And it'll be the same on... A lot of the omens if not probably all of them that have the four screws here and the four screws there so even if you have a 15 inch omen it may be the same thing um, where you just pull the four screws and you start at the back because I even tried starting around here and around here and that is not gonna happen you have to start with the back and then come around the sides carefully and it'll pop off and you won't break any clips so I'm not gonna hang you guys up by sitting here popping screws back in so um, but that's our upgrade for now. So there's our original RAM that came out, 2 8 And there's our half a terabyte super fast friggin' Express War Drive. Can't wait to do the speed test on this new one, too, uh, that we just put in to see how well it does. Um, it should do about the same as it did in my ASUS, so it's going to be pretty damn close, if not bang on to that 7,000, uh, that it's rated for. So that's going to be, um, pretty close to this. This is 6,800 and change. Uh, by 44 and change kind of thing. Um, and we do have Thunderbolt on this thing, by the way. Though I'm not impressed with the Thunderbolt 4 speeds. That has much to be desired, but at least it's Thunderbolt 4 and, or could be 3. We don't know. The computer doesn't know. I don't know. HP doesn't know. It's Thunderbolt. So, uh, but I won't be, I won't be needing a Thunderbolt drive for a while. I also won't need an external extra drive for a while. Because uh, I opted out to not put it in because I already have backups of everything that I did do with my Asus. Because all that sat on there was all my extra installers anyways. It was just a backup dump drive. So for now, I don't need a second drive. But once I get this full enough, I may have to start installing games onto another drive. Depending on those games as we go. Because this thing is a lot more powerful machine than the one that I had. By far, like way more powerful. Uh, so that means it opens me up to a whole new world of gaming. But anyway, that's it. That's all. We will let you go on this one, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya!